How to use Binance Trading Bot tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how to get started with the Binance Trading Bot. So what are trading bots before we get into the specifics? Now, trading bots are basically automated functions where you can just input certain levels of tr market trades that you might want to do. So if I go ahead and open up this platform over here, and if i go ahead and take a look at the trading section and i go into margin trading over here and you can see over here a trading bot would basically be able to buy at a certain price that i give it so let's say i give it the buying price of twenty five thousand and sell it at a certain price let's say i give it the selling price of twenty eight thousand and it would automatically repeat this cycle until i tell it to stop so there are multiple different platforms that offer trading bots. Now, I wouldn't recommend just using any random trading bot off of the internet because of security concerns. I do think that would be very, very risky. And I would suggest that if anyone wants to use a trading bot, that they should be able to go ahead and use a more verified trading bot like the Binance trading bot. That is why I recommend that if you're going to automate your trading functions, do it in a safe and secure manner. Go ahead and use the Binance one. Just don't download something off the internet that might end up draining your crypto wallet because that is a popular scam now i'm also not a financial advisor so take this with a grain of salt and make sure that this is more of a learning experience and then make sure that you understand the risks of trading before you get into this now once you go ahead and open up your market trading or whatever chart you have then you can see over here that on your top you're actually going to find your trading bot so you can click on strategy trading over here and this is basically the binance trading bot so you can click on overview to overview your strategy trading and strategy trading basically means where you're going to automate your trading so you have a long-term yield strategy which is in which could be in a spot grid or a futures grid and then you also have smart trading where you can slice large orders into smaller ones and get better execution prices so for example if i do auto investments and if i have auto investments for one year and in the 12 months that i buy the coin that i'm purchasing for example that is btc and if i'm purchasing btc over and over again and each time it's a different price maybe if i uh, divided that trade to a smaller execution time so maybe if i made it to six months instead of one year and took the average price that i'm getting it at and then instead of buying it every month i would only buy it at the lowest average price that i was getting and for the next six months that would enable me to maximize profit so you can do smart trading in that sense and then you also have vp trading which is to limit the market impact of large orders by dividing them across a specific market volume ratio so this enables you to divide trades in a specific ratio format to minimize your losses now in strategy trading you have different strategy pools as well so you can just click on use parameter to use a specific parameter and you also have trading analytics to get more analytics so you can see the top coins for trading for automated trading and you can just click on create strategy and over here in your spot grid or your grid whatever grid you want to use spot grid basically means where you're going to purchase and then sell at a certain price futures grid basically means where you're going to bet on the price of a token that is a lot more complicated and it has a lot more moving aspects like leverage as well so make sure to keep that in mind before you go ahead into futures trading now let's say you're going to click on spot grid you can just click on create over here going to click on next and then what you can do over here is that you can add the upper and lower price you can see you have a automated bot over here and then you can just add the investment that you want and this would create like a simple automated bot for maximum for the maximum profit and then you can just choose the amount of days or you can choose manual so in manual let's say that the lower price so maybe the lower price that i want to go for over here is 19,000. So 19,000 and then the upper price that I want to go to is 24,000 over here and then I can choose the grid. And now after that what I can do is choose the coin that I want to invest. Now, you can choose to invest your BUSD, the spot or fiat currency that you have in your account or you can also go ahead with BUSD plus BTC and invest BTC as well. And then you're just going to choose your investment. So, you're just going to choose your investment and then you can add the optimization of your actual thing of your actual transaction as well. And then you're just going to click on create over here to get started with your trading. Now, this is for spot trading. 
how do you strategy trade or how do you use the automated bot for futures grade well for that you're just going to click on create over here open up whatever coin you might want this is the uh, btc slash busd coin and then what you're going to do in a futures trade so you can see this is a automated bot you can go ahead with the automated bot or you can click on manual and then you can choose whether you want to long or short it so if you want to go neutral that is going to be a better function because it's going to be a lot lower risk but if you want the higher yield and if you want to maximize profits then long yield or shorter like betting on shorting or longing the price of a coin is going to yield more money now i'm going to go with neutral and then you're going to enter the lower price the current price is 22 the lower price i'm going to enter is 18 and then the upper price that i'm going to enter is 23 and then i'm going to enter the grids and then after that, you're just going to enter your initial margin. And then below that, so you're just going to enter your initial margin. And then below that, you actually have your leverage. So leverage basically means in this kind of trading, leverage means that you're going to be leveraging money or borrowing money for the sake of your trade. Now, if you're able to successful, if your trade goes successful, the money that you leverage can be pay paid back and you're just going to earn the interest on that money. So let's say I leverage this by two times. So if I leverage it by two times in this kind of uh, trade and the money that I was investing was 100, that means that would be multiplied by two and that will mean that I'm actually trading $200 and whatever profit that I incur in those $200, I'm gonna get my initial investment, which is $100 plus the profit that I made and the $100 that I basically used as leverage or borrowed and leverage are going to be returned back and that is how i make money now if you are putting in large leverage there is high risk of liquidity if you have a low low leverage then you have low risk of liquidity and obviously with a larger leverage trade you're also not going to be able to make a very very simple kind of mathematic equations like a simple spot trade uh, like we're copying the same values from our spot trade into our futures trade but for your for your actual futures trade with a high leverage the values even if they go off slightly and you're making a loss slightly even for a moment that you make a loss you're going to your entire account or your entire futures account could get drained so that is something to keep keep in mind whenever you are doing strategy trading or even normal trading on the futures platform now these are just some of the basic ways that you can get started with creating automated bots you also have multiple strategy pools available on binance that you can use and you can see the return on investment for these is pretty high make sure that you actually take a look at the time period for these strategy bots because if you do not complete the time period then it's not going to yield as much roi as the illustrated one so make sure that your time period is valid enough. So you can see some of these have a time period of one year. And obviously with a time period of one year, that means that this is not a realistic kind of uh, prediction for your or a realistic parameter. So make sure to keep that in mind as well. So that was it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you in the next video.